Hello, so there are three types of emails, personal ones, transactional ones, and marketing emails. And in this video, we are going to go through sending emails inside a Ruby on Rails application. And for this, we are going to use Action Mailer. Action Mailer is basically the Ruby on Rails strategy for sending emails from a Ruby on Rails application. And now we already have a template default Ruby on Rails application running where we have users and we have posts. And we are going to create a mailer where all the users are notified whenever a new post is created. So let's go back to the documentation for Action Mailer. And actually, when I was for the first time learning Action Mailer, I really felt blocked. I It went quite hard. So hopefully it will go much easier for you now. So first, we are going to create a mailer. And we will name it a Post Mailer. So let's say Rails Generate Mailer, Post Mailer. And inside the post mailer, we are at once going to create an action named uh, uh, post created. Post created is uh, going to be the uh, name of the email that we are going to send. So let's see, we've created a few files. First of all, we have created a file in the folder named mailers. So inside our application, we have uh, a few folders. We have uh, controllers, models, views, and we also have mailers and uh, often we don't even look at them, but we have them. So we have post mailer and inside post mailer, we were given a default uh, action named post created, but we are of course going to change it. And in this action, we have mail to and to an example email. And also in our views, we were given this new folder called post mailer. And in this post mailer folder, we have post created HTML and text. So here we are going to actually have the text that is going to be delivered to our email recipients. And you see, we have this post mailer and uh, views and post mailer mailer. So this is kind of the controller for mailers and these are the views. And you see here we have application mailer. It's something like application controller, but for emails. And here we have some default settings like default from. So here you have your default address from which you send your emails, layout mailer. And if we go into layouts, we also have a layout named mailer. So we have a layout named application and we have a separate layout for our emails named mailer. And we can also edit it. And uh, we will also want to preview our emails. And for previewing emails, we would need to go down into the test and inside test we have mailers inside mailers we have previews and inside previews we have our post mailer preview it is another file that was generated by our action so when we ran rails generate mailer post mailer it generated kind of a post mailer controller in our mailers then it generated the views for post created text and html and it uh, generated the preview. Now let's try to have a look at this uh, mailer. I will go to the Rails server and not doing anything, we can directly go and preview uh, uh, our email. So for this, we will go to slash Rails slash mailers. So Rails and mailers. And here we have uh, all the mailers that we have in our mailers previews uh, tests. So here we have post mailer and in post mailer we have post created. And here we have our email. So directly from our browser, we can preview the email that we are sending. And you see by default we have from example.com. Where does it come from? It comes from our mailers application mailer where we, send, uh, where we set from example.com. We can change it to from hello at corsigo.com, for example. And you see, by default, we are going to have from hello at cosigo.com. Then to is also set to at example.org. Why is it set so? Because in our post mailer, inside the action for sending the email, we say uh, mail to to at example.org. So here we would want to have uh, a user email or the emails of all our users. Now, for example, we want to sell the email to the first user that we have in our application. We can just say mail to user.first.email. Okay. And you see, well, the first user is hello at Cosigo. So we send it 
from this email to this email. And also we can send to more than one email. So let's say to user first email and cc uh, user dot block uh, user dot all dot block email. And this way we'll, we'll also send the email to all our users as cc. So you see in cc we have uh, uh, two other users. Well, in total we have uh, two users in the application and we have all the users as cc. So it looks good. And also we can add uh, bcc. So a blind copy. And a blind copy can be sent to something like secret at uh, corsigo.com. And you see in the SMTP tool, we also got secret at cosigo.com. So it is not visible in two, it is not visible in the C, but we are also going to send it uh, this way. So looks good. Now, what other options can we have uh, in our mailer? We can, of course, have a subject. So let's add a subject. Subject. And the subject will be a uh, new post created. Okay, now you see uh, the default subject before setting a subject is just the name of the action post created, but we can edit it by saying something like new post created. Now I refresh and you see the subject is now new post created. So looks good. Now we have quite a long uh, mail tool. So let's uh, uh, edit it a bit. I will add brackets and make it look like this. So to CC, BCC, and subject. And uh, also on a single action level, we can override from whom the email is sent. So now it is sent from hello at cosigo.com, but we can say from, and it would be something like uh, uh, support at corsigo.com and a comma here. And you see if we change it, so we can override uh, any of these uh, variables and looks quite good. So now let's actually send an email and have a look at it. So we have a mailer named post mailer and in it we have an action named post created. And we will want to send this mailer whenever a new post is created. So we would go to our controllers, to the post controller, and inside the create action, if post create, we can uh, add uh, an action to actually send, to actually deliver this uh, mailer. So we would say something like post mailer dot post created dot deliver later. Now you can set you either deliver now or deliver later, but I really suggest using deliver later always. So they say post mailer, post created, deliver later. And now let's actually create a post. So I will go back to our application, go to our posts and create a post. Let's give it a title, learning mailers and create a post. And let's have a look at our logs. So. I'm looking at the logs and here I see, uh, I see that uh, the post was created and we also used action mailer, mail delivery job. And here we have our mailer delivering an email from support at cosigo.com and so on. So if we were in production and if we had our email set up for production, then this email would have been delivered. And here we have all the content. but. Let's make this email more personal. So you see, we don't have any information about the user who created the post. We don't have any information about the post itself. So let's add this. Now to add this, what would we like to do? So we would like to also add the details of the current user and of the post into our mailer. So it is also described here in the docs. Uh, we can uh, say with user at equals at current user, for example. So let's say postmailer.with user is current user. So we 
capture the user that is creating the post and uh, post will be at post. So in our params, we will have the user and we will have the post. And now in post mailer, we can say uh, at user equals params user. And we can say at post equals params post. And for example, in the subject or in the body of the email, let's go to the uh, post created HTML, we can say that uh, equals at user dot email uh, created equals at post dot uh, title. Let's just make it like this. So user with some email created a post with some kind of title. Now let's create another post and see if it works. So I'm going to new post and the user and post whatever. So I press create post and let's have a look at our logs. And it says, hello, Cresigo created user and post. Well, the post is named user and post. So it kind of worked. I uh, managed to pass in the params of the current user who created the post and the title of the post. So works quite nice. And now another thing that you might want to do is prettify the emails. So if we go into our application mailer, we have a default from, and it's this hello cosigo.com. So we have the email, but we can also pass in a name. So uh, let's say Yaro, and we will have Yaro, hello at cosigo.com. And let's uh, uh, go back to previewing our emails. Let's go to Rails, Mailers, Post Created. And you see, we have another problem. So undefined method square braces for nil class. It is because we didn't pass params user and params post inside our post mailer preview. So here we also have to say uh, with post mailer dot with user user dot first and post post dot first just for the previews. Okay, so the preview works. And now let's see if uh, our beautified default from uh, is available. Let's go back to the post mailer and remove the from and you see we get from yarrow at hello dot hello at cosigo.com so we can do it with the any kinds of emails we can say here also yarrow or yaroslav and support cosigo.com looks nice and rails also has a method to make it more kind of uh, automatic so we can uh, pass in email address with the uh, name so we can say not just to user first email, but to email address with name. And we would pass the user email. And if the user has uh, a name, we would pass the name. But I don't have a, a name for the user. So we will just pass the user email and user email. And you see the format has changed. So here we pass user email with name and looks nice. And one final thing that you might want to do is add attachments uh, into your emails. So for example, you would want to add an attached image. Well, let's go to our assets, images, and add some kind of random image. So let's say I will uh, add uh, this image into our assets. Okay, so here I have added the image and we want to include it inside uh, our uh, emails. So we can also find some settings for attachments in action mailer settings. So attachments, and here we would get something like this. So attachments, here we would get the file name. So it would be Oracle PNG, and we would get file read, and we would add the path app slash assets slash images slash oracle dot png let's see if this works 
and you see we have a new thing with attachments oracle.png and the attachment can be opened or saved so it works nice and we can also actually display these attachments inside the email so let's try to display this attachment inside our email and uh, we can also find the uh, how it can be done here so we can just add an image tag let's go and open our post created view so here we would add an image tag for the attachments oracle.png elk can be whatever and class if you have some styling let's see and here I have added this uh, image. Now, of course, I would want to add some kind of break because it doesn't look really nice in line. So here I have this image and I can add some additional settings like uh, width uh, would be 100 pixels to make it smaller and looks nice. And we can actually also edit our uh, email layout to add some uh, stuff that will be available in all the emails. For example, regards and your name. So for example, here going to the layouts mailer on the yield, I can add regards Yaroslav Shmarov and uh, add uh, my email. For example, like this. And here this way in under each email, I would also have uh, some kind of uh, uh, goodbye message. And that's basically how you work with the uh, mailers in Ruby on Rails. The main things to understand is that we have a separate folder named mailers. Inside we can have uh, kind of controllers, think of them as controllers, in which we can have different actions for all kinds of emails. And we have relevant views uh, inside our views. And that's it. Thanks for being with me and have a nice day.